Hi everyone, and welcome to this short power profile on the Netherlands. Now, as many of you may know, EEX launched Dutch Power in 2013. Um, over the last 18 months, though, we've seen a pretty serious rise in liquidity. So today, we're going to explore the reasons behind that rise in liquidity and maybe touch on the outlook for Dutch Power. Now, joining me today, I'm very happy to say that I have two experts to answer those questions. Um, firstly, we have Stefan Riediger, Director of Power Derivatives here at EEX. Hi, Stefan. Morning, Michael. Hey. And we also have our local market expert for the Benelux uh, area, Eric Backer. Hey, Eric. Hi. Hi, Michael. Hi, Stefan. Eric, I'll come to you first. Um, what's the reasons behind this, this major rise in liquidity? Uh, we've seen uh, uh, consistent market making uh, during the, the past years already from some uh, uh, local players uh, putting a first layer of liquidity into the market. And uh, as we also saw noticed uh, the last 18 months, we see uh, growth of number of uh, market participants and the good thing is it's a mix uh, of conventional market players and financial players, which lead to uh, deeper liquidity into the market. Besides that, we saw uh, uh, bigger interest in spark pets uh, trading due to the lower uh, TTF prices uh, this year. And we see a shift to counterparty risk from LTC uh, trading into clear trading. So basically those are four main uh, reasons for the shift. And Stefan, what, what, do you have anything to add there? Yeah, well, if I look at the Dutch market, I mean, I see, I, I really see three points here yeah, that, that make a difference. Yeah, I mean, look, EEX, as Eric rightly said, um, offers a um, liquid platform for not only for utilities in the Netherlands. I mean, look at this market. It's a market that is traded from companies all over Europe. And as Eric rightly said, a fair share of financial and physical players, which is good to develop liqu liquidity, number one. Number two, look at the product suite. I mean, we offer the most comprehensive suite of Dutch power futures. So it's a cash settled offering, um, base load and peak load. And as you know, from the other European markets here at EX, we offer a full curve, uh, giving maximum flexibility to hedge your portfolio. So you can trade daily futures all the way up to calendar years. And by the, way, uh, by the way, Michael, I mean, we have open interest up to five years out. So that tells me that there is confidence in the market that liquidity will continue to rise and EEX will strengthen its place as the leading platform for Dutch power as well. And number three, and that's an important element for all the physical players, because you can transfer your financial positions that you hold in Dutch power into a physical delivery through our EPEX spot market. So the day ahead auction um, of EPEX spot, which is also highly liquid in that market. And I think that are three important elements which have helped us grow the business since 2013 up to today, but what will continue uh, to build in the months and years ahead. Thanks for that guys, because actually that brings me on to my next point. I mean, we, we've set the scene, we've got, you've given me the reasons why um, we've seen this rise over the past 18 months, and thank you for that. But in terms of the future, what's the future hold for Dutch Power? Eric, uh, can I come to you on that? Yeah, of course. Uh, I see the, the future. First of all, I see uh, the energy transition going on, so uh, a shift from traditional uh, uh, power plants into a more renewable uh, energy uh, that, that will bring more liquidity and volatility in the short end of the curve but uh, uncertainty and volatility of prices will lead to uh, the need of longer term hedging as well. Besides that, I do see uh, the need for, for more uh, uh, spark spreads trading products. Uh, so uh, connecting the, the power market into the, the gas market on, on the easy way. Any thoughts on that, Stefan? Yeah, I would say I really, believe um, that the platform effect will help to grow the business here in the Dutch market because look the Dutch market is still a market which is predominantly traded OTC bilateral yeah so about 50% is still traded outside of exchanges and outside a cleared environment 
as Eric rightly said, I mean, we've seen it in other markets in Europe before. There is a strong trend towards clearing. And here is where the platform effect of EX will kick in because there is always kind of a spillover effect in terms of liquidity. And as you know, Dutch power, German power, they are highly correlated still. Um, and EEX is the leading market for German power. And I'm a firm believer in platform efficiency. So therefore, I think that uh, market participants already take advantage of trading more markets on one platform. And they will do even more in the Dutch market because of the high correlation with Germany, the high correlation to TTF, as Eric touched upon. And then finally, that brings a lot of efficiency for market participants, not only talking about technology, but also talking about um, margin efficiency, cross margining, all these effects that have a benefit for our participants. So there you have it. The future is very bright, it seems, for Dutch power. Thank you for that, guys. And thank you for you for watching. If you have any questions um, related to Dutch Power specifically, um, you'll notice that Eric's contact details are uh, uh, added into the newsletter at the bottom of this section. Um, uh, thank you again. And until then, stay safe. As the Dutch would say, bedankt. Thank you.